It is now time we officially start the BYU softball season, and why not do it in Hawaii? Coach Gordon Eakin with us. Coach, uh, paradise to begin, but as we always say, it's it's a business trip. So how do you get your team ready mentally, knowing that we're going to Hawaii, which is awesome, but hey, we got to win some games. Yeah, well, we've talked about it nonstop. We've uh, encouraged them to enjoy this wonderful opportunity here in this great state but we've also said we're here for softball and and so we've limited their sun time and uh you know tried to keep them safe in their in the water excursions that they do and so we are we're focused on softball and i think this is a pretty mature group i think we'll be okay well and you're going to rely on that maturity as you head into the big 12 like the Big 12 competition, it won't be anything new per se because you typically challenge yourself so much in, in non-conference. But the fact that you are now in a power conference and uh, there are no quote-unquote gimmies, how, how have things changed for you in preparation, maybe going from the West Coast Conference to the Big 12 slate um, after what's going to be another challenging non-conference schedule? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You, you can talk about it a lot and we have, and we've had the luxury of using, you know, other sports going into the big 12 and their successes and failures as an example, uh, currently with basketball, basketball's doing great, playing great ball. And, but it is a dogfight every single night. So we use those, we use those examples with the team and we don't let them lose sight of some nights where teams are going to take it to us and we have to be resilient and come right back, bounce right back the next day or the next inning or, whatever that requires. So, I mean, we've talked about it a lot, but there's no, um, there's no exchange for the experience that you'll go through. So that's going to be huge for us this year as a program. Where do you feel like your team has grown the most from last season to this season? Again, as you get ready for what's going to be top to bottom, the, the most difficult gauntlet you've ever faced as a softball program. Well, uh, last year, we, w at times, as you know, um, we started six and seven freshmen. And so those freshmen um, really gained a lot of experience last year. And now they're, they're, I'm not sure I'd call them veterans, but they're certainly much more prepared to go out and face that gauntlet than they, than they would have been prepared last year. And, and then we have some great le senior leadership as well with, you know, Violet Zvodnik, Hunter Ava, Maddie Bejarano, Chloe Temples, um, Macy Simmons. We just, we have some good senior leadership. So I think we're well-rounded as a team. I think we're, um, we've been through these experiences before, uh, not weekend after weekend after weekend. And that's going to be the learning curve part. But as you look at a player like Chloe Temples, um, it's so important to have a reliable really strong pitching staff. How does she fit into that this year for BYU softball? Well, she's our veteran, you know, being a senior and uh, she's been through it before. And, and she, when, she, when Chloe's on, she's very good. And she's, she's much healthier this year. Um, but when you get past Chloe, we're very young as a staff with case and getting a lot of work last year as a freshman, but um, we have three other freshmen coming in that, We'll get some mound time and then a junior that's been hurt for two years with uh, Alyssa Aguilar that, um, you know, she's still not a lot of game time. And um, so we're, we're just young as a team and uh, on the mound, we're young as a team on the mound. And that's probably the area we're going to have to grow the fastest. Managing expectations with all of those things you just talked about is always a tricky beast. So how, how do you do that as a head coach, knowing that, man, the schedule is going to get tougher. We are a year older, but we're still young, specifically in the pitching group. So how do you, how does that impact your expectations for this team? My expectations are very high. You know, I, uh, that's just who we are as a program. Our expectations are we perform at a high level and we use no excuses, whether it's youth or injuries or anything else. Our expectations are we're going to go out and win every game we play. And um, then beyond that, beyond that expectation is that you have to be resilient, especially in a conference like the Big 12, where you can take somebody's best punch and you can pick yourself back up and, and win again. So I wouldn't say we're certainly not going into the Big 12 with any 
um, aspirations that it's okay to just go through a learning curve. That's not who we are. Uh, we'll finish with this as we look ahead to what you're about to face, which is uh, the University of Missouri, Kansas City, and then you get Ole Miss, Nevada, UMKC one more time, and then you close out with Hawaii. So uh, what's, I guess, the scouting report first and foremost on UMKC, the, the first game of the season? Yeah, I mean, every every team you play in Division One, as you know, is capable of beating you. And and there's been a lot of talk among the team and the coaching staff about Old Miss. And I I cautioned them this morning. I said, our first game's UMKC, and we're not going to overlook them and just talk about Old Miss. It's one game at a time, one inning at a time, one pitch at a time. And when we're done with that, we'll move on to Old Miss. But for an opening weekend, um, the the competition is is uh, going to be really intense and good. And my expectations are that we'll we'll be successful one pitch at a time this weekend. Um, before I let you go, I do need to compliment the BYU softball team specifically for their support of their other sports in the program. Like without fail, the softball team was always first on location at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, and led by yeah. Violet Zabodnik. And I mean that. I don't know what's what's going on, but like the dedication there to support the other sports is noteworthy. Yeah, well, they're di- they're just definitely bought into BYU, and they love everything about BYU. They they love the other teams at BYU. They love the leadership of of our AD and our associate AD, and you know Brian and Tom come sit in our dugout, and and when they do that and interact with the girls, it just it invests the girls in everything that we do. So. We have great leadership, and then they think you're all right too. I, I don't know why, but they, <laughs> they kind of like you, and um, so I think it's just they just are really bought into BYU as a whole. Uh, I've, I've tricked them, and I, I'm I'm glad. <laughs> oh, I kid. No, they're they're great athletes. Um, it, it's a pleasure to support uh, such a great women's program at BYU, and do need to give a shout out to uh, to Violet Zavodnik because she typically she's leading that charge and. And, and frankly, I should ask you, like, what what are your expectations for Violet this year? Is she really is like that wily veteran for your team? Yeah, I mean, Violet is last year before all of her injuries, string of injuries last year, she was the 28th ranked player in the country, uh, just an exceptional talent. And so we will we will go as far as a kid like Violet Zvodnik takes us. She she's a game changer, and so she's a uh, centerpiece in center field and cornerstone of our team and can't say enough about her great kid but she's she's an all-american waiting to have that year and i think this is the year cannot wait to watch you compete uh, against umkc to begin and then we'll get to old miss as you mentioned but uh, super stoked and excited for the BYU softball season to begin we'll be streaming it i'm sure everybody will be jealous watching you play in hawaii but we certainly will be enjoying some high level softball thanks coach yeah, I don't think any of it's streamed here, so you might just have to watch those little stick what? people run around the bases. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. We'll find a way. Thanks, Coach. Okay. All right. Thank you.